How are you? How are you doing today? Everything okay? No problem? I'm writing. Ah, yes, it's raining. Well, winter has started. Yeah, ya comenzó el invierno, right? So then, uh, yeah, there is no escape. So we have to, to be ready for the rain. Last night it was raining very, very hard. Today is similar. So I guess, I guess it's going to be the same. Next uh, month, May, yes. May is the, the rainy season. Y por lo general, mayo es la época de lluvia, right? So we are, we are ready. Do you like the rain? Do you like the rain? People, you don't like the rain. I don't know, teacher. No le gusta la lluvia. No. No, you don't. Okay, cool. And... I showered. <laughs> and Jocelyn, do you like... Do you like the rain, Jocelyn? Oh, here you can see the wind is blowing. Um, Reina, do you like the rain? Uh, un poco. <laughs> a little, a little, okay, a little, it's good. Um, Ivania, do you like the rain? A little, little, okay. You know, I like the rain when I am in my house, okay? to sleep, okay, but our meat is nice, okay, but, <laughs> but when you're driving, yes. but, that manejando con la lluvia is it's terrible. Stressful. Uh-huh, <laughs> stressful, very, very stressful, correct, yes, and, and dangerous, okay, stressful, dangerous, difficult, but, you know, that's the, that's the way it is, right? Um, Brandon, do you like the rain? Sometimes. Sometimes. No, Brandon, you don't like it. I don't. Ahora me escucha? Okay, yes, now yes. Yes? Yes, now yes. Okay. Uh, sometimes, let us hear. Okay, good, thank you. Why, why sometimes? In um, what moment? Cuando también estoy en, en mi casa, pero cuando uno sale, sí, no. No me gusta porque uno se moja, ¿va? por ejemplo, cuando por la mañana cuando uno va a trabajar. Ajá, y exacto. El trabajo es bien feo. Yes. Así. Dar todo mojado o yes, get wet. Uh, y, y, y when you are at work, okay, you feel like sleeping. Pero cuando no está trabajando y está viendo solo ganas de dormir, dan, right? To go back. Ajá. Yes, Entonces, time. por eso depende del contexto, la verdad. Yes, yes, you're right. I agree with you, correct. Good. Well, that was you know, the, just to, to introduce, right, the topic for today. And yesterday we said that we were going to talk about talents. Jenny Navenil. 
porque sabe que tiene que cantar. ¿Ok? No, no debe la Sí, no va a deber. Reina, reina, no, pues no, no fue reina, fue milagro la que le echó de cabeza. Right. Y Jenny puede cantar. Okay. Ya apareció. Ya apareció. Ah, ok. Ah, pues estaba oh, afinando. Sí, sí. Ella dijo que podía cantar. Estaba afinando la guitarra, por eso no entraba. <risa> Terminando la guitarra y aclarando la voz. Okay. So then we have, for example, by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for discussing different abilities and talents, right? Abilities and talents uh, that people have. For example, the soccer players, okay, los jugadores de fútbol, hay unos que, bueno, los profesionales y los que no profesionales, semi-profesionales por hobby, hay un talento, right? There is always a talent uh, for sports players. Uh, football, basketball, swimming, uh, hockey, skateboarding, any sport, lo que sea, right? Chess, incluso jugando juegos like chess, there is a talent, okay? So now let's see. In this video, okay, but um, it's slow in this moment. I can't write. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, it's loading. My connection is bad. Wait a minute, people is waiting, waiting. Okay, here we go. Viene. Wow, it's very slow. Okay, so then, um, as I was telling you, for example, with the, with the videos, with the talents that we have, there is talent for music. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for discussing different abilities and talents. Let's get started by listening to some common abilities and talents. Word power. Musical or artistic. Paint pictures. Play the violin. Sing English songs. Technical or mechanical. Design a web page. Fix a car. Fix a motorcycle. Athletic. Do gymnastics. Ride a horse. Surf. Other. Bake a cake. Play chess. Tell good jokes. Now I would like for you to do a couple of things. First, categorize these activities using the categories musical or artistic, athletic, other, technical or mechanical. Uh, just like you see on the example, other, 
bake a cake. Then I would like for you to use the vocabulary and relate it to yourself, a family member, or a friend. For example, I can fix a car, but I can't fix a motorcycle. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Hi everyone. In this color artistic. Paint pictures. And abilities and talents. Word power. Musical or artistic. Okay, when they mean the uh, word power, it's the the vocabulary, right? Word power is when we increase, when incrementamos nuestro vocabulario, right? That is the word power. El poder de la palabra, right? And then here you can see that they are using bake a cake. Paint pictures. Okay, Play, the Play the violin. Sing English songs. Technical or mechanical. Design a web page. Fix a car. Fix a motorcycle. Athletic. Do gymnastics. Ride a horse. Surf. Other. Bake a cake. Play chess. Tell good jokes. Now I would like for you to do a couple of... Okay. So now you think and tell me, for example, what are some, uh, some talents that you see? For example, the, the comedians. For example, the, this guy, uh, Eugenio Derbez. Yes. Do you know any of their best, right? Who knows uh, Eugenio their best? What are Eugenio their best's talents? What are the talents? What are los talentos de Eugenio their best? Very common. The comedy, uh -huh, yes. Acting, 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 acting. acting. Is, an act, is a good actor. Okay. And oh, uh, what else? And dancing, dancing, probably right. And, and dancing también. Okay. What are the can see, for example, in uh, let me see this guy, a uh, probably Michael Jordan, or LeBron James, athletic, athletic, an excellent, he's an excellent athlete. What else? What is another talent in Michael Jordan? Another talent? Actor? No. Yes, actually, yes. Michael Jordan is a space jam. Hay una película con él, yes. The Looney Tunes. Yes. For, chil yes. for children. Ah, mm -hmm. yes. Sí, no lo vi. No, no me acordaba. Yes. Uh, he played ba uh, baseball. He played baseball, uh, basketball, actor. Um, I don't know what else, right? Now, what are some talents that you see in other people? For example, the we know here, for example, that a talent is any ability that you can do, uh, for example, and there are some other people that can. Uh, for example, speaking another language is a talent. Uh, for example, the designing, designing a, a web page, a web page to design a web page 
a, and a computer is also a, a talent. Okay. Not everybody can use computers very well. Okay. So that's the that's the point, right? What else? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más es un talento? ¿O quién tiene un talento que ustedes conozcan? Tell me, tell me. Dibujar, teacher. Ajá. Uh -huh. Drawing. Yeah. Drawing. 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 Talent. Okay. Drawing. Okay, dibujar. Drawing is a talent. Eh, what else is a talent? Drawing. Cooking. How do you say diseñar? Design. Design. Okay. Okay. For example, design. What can you design? You can design a, a web page. Uh, we can design uh, clothes. Clothes. Sign flows. ¿Qué más se puede diseñar? Eh, design a... Diseño de moda. What? Diseño de moda. Yes, uh, a clothes. In a house, you have a casa, an architecture, right? You are okay. Design, uh, design a car, design a car, okay, um, engineer. Oh, yeah, video games. Time video games. Eh, play the piano. Yes, play the piano is another talent. Play the dancing. Play the dancing. The guitar. Remember that uh, the level of quality, el nivel de calidad, the play the piano, design a video game, design a house, eso lo hace más talentoso, ¿ok? Alguien puede diseñar ropa, pero hay quienes lo diseñan muy bien, right? Very well. Entonces, eso es un special talent. Hay quienes cocinan, ¿ok? There are people that cook. Pero hay quienes cocinan very, very well. Okay, que tienen un special, special touch. No que especial, right, for the food. Okay, what is another talent? ¿Qué otro talento hay? What else? What else? Picturing. 
Which one you gonna? Pintura, picture. Uh, paint. paint. Pintar. Paint. Pero pintar un cuadro, right? Mm -hmm. Bueno, también pintar una casa. Paint a house. Hay diferente, okay? Paint. Uh, okay, paint a picture. Pintar una casa y tienes lo hacen muy bien. Que me manchan el Que me can combine, combine the colors. Esa cuestión es combinar colores muy bien. Ok, what else? Teacher. Okay. Yes, Jenny. ¿Cómo se.? How do you say las personas que hacen como acrobacias en un circo? No sé cómo se les llama eso. Uh, well, depends. The jugglers, acrobats. The acrobats. That's another one. Because there is another one that it has to do with the uh, gymnastics, right? Gymnastics. It's uh, another one. What else? Photographer. Which one? Photographer. Photography. Uh -huh, photographer. Photographer. Yeah, it's another. It's a talent. Porque eh, un buen fotógrafo le incluso le dice a las personas cómo posar, right? Hay personas que, por ejemplo, eh, recomiendan que, que hayan siempre como líneas rectas en una posición, por ejemplo, eh, lo, el bra, por ejemplo, poner un, el brazo, no, así que no lo voy a poner yo, right? Pero que se marquen estas líneas así rectas cuando alguien dobla la pierna, cuando se sienta, ok. Entonces esas fotos que tienen esas líneas rectas se ven mucho mejor que una foto, así que no se lo separa todo recto, ¿no? Right? And then, that's another one. Eh, yes, Lilian, ice skating, that's another one. Ice skating is a talent. Ok, actually, the, the skiing, Ice skating, skateboarding, skydiving. Uh, uh, todos los deportes creo que son, es un talento, right? It's a talent. Uh, music, singing, painting, okay? Uh, aquí solo es para practicar vocabulario, right? Uh, gymnastics. Uh, por ejemplo, la gente que, que va al gimnasio, right? The gym. Can pass over a lot. That's also a talent. Okay. Teacher, y en esto aplica que puede ser un talento que puedan coser. Coser. Sí. Okay. Oh, wait, uh, de hecho, hay uno que se llama. How do you call this one? Weave. Weave is another one. Eh, weave, weave, weave. Pero me he olvidado el nombre en español. Eh, I think it's... ¿Cómo se le llama esto que se hace con unas agujitas? Croche. Croche. Crochet is one, but there is another one weaving. Oh, it's an escapado la palabra in Spanish. Mm, tejer. Una... Tejer. Tejer. Okay, tejer. That's the word. No sé si es exactamente lo mismo tejer y crochet, pero creo que son diferentes, right? Crochet. Es, es similar en la acción, creo, pero 
creo que el hilo que utilizan es, uh, hay diferencia, right? En el tejido. Ok, but with, se lo voy a escribir acá. With, que se despejar, that's a talent. Okay, hay unas personas que hacen blusas, uh, faldas, bueno, ya hasta trajes de baño, ¿ves? bikinis, todo con, en este tipo de, hechos a mano, right? With, it's a talent. Eh, what else? Ah, the carpenters. The carpenters. Y, que, ¿Ah? y a las personas que hacen cosas como artesanas, ¿cómo se llamaría? Furniture. Por ejemplo, un, un carpenter le hace furniture. Y el otro son los eh, craftsmen. Craftman, ahí está. Ese es un artesano. Craftman. No. Craft son artesanías. Y una persona que hace eso es un craftman. Es una persona que hace cosas con sus manos. Hace artesano. Y ahí va los muñequitos de barro, right? They can shape, que les, they shape them, que les dan forma. Eh, they also have, the, los carpinteros son unos artesanos de la madera, of the wood unos muebles increíbles. Eh, what else? De, bueno, estas personas que hacen crochet y todo eso. Weaving. Eh, son artesanos. Eh, lo, hay, hay personas que hacen hammocks. The hammocks are the, the hamacas. The hammocks. ¿Ya han visto cómo hacen esas hamacas? En telares. Uh -huh. eh, sí. Porque las hacen como de pita, ¿no? entonces esas son pura mano, entonces son uh, craftsmen, okay, son un artesano. Good, this is a talent, this is un various. Ah, oh, there is another one that they use for me. They use for me to to make different figures. Okay, hacen figuras de dinosaurs, balls, bottles, uh, lo que usted le ocurra lo hacen con con for me. Ok, I have a, tenía un, tengo una hermana que, que hacía eso. Me gustaba hacer cositas de fondo. Ok, um, what else? Lo que hacen como piñatas. Ok, piñatas. Piñata is a, that's a craftsman too. Eso es artesanía también. Craftman. Eh, en piñata es lo mismo, right? Ajá, no tiene traducción. Piñata es the same. The, so then, that is another one. Eh, there is a difference in El Salvador and there is a difference from uh, eh, piñatas in, in Mexico, right? Because in Mexico they are eh, barro. Aha, uh -huh, yes, they are made of clay, from the clay, the barro. Clay and here in El Salvador is paper. Okay, it's just paper. Paper and, and wire, y alambre. Paper and wire. Uh, let me see what else. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué otro talento? So see how much, how many words and vocabulary for talent. Eh, play music. Eh, also, well, speak. No, no English. Speak. Uh, hablar en, en público is a talent. Speak in front of people is give speeches, right? Uh, that's a talent. Share los escritores. Uh, write a book. Uh -huh, to write. Escribir un libro, un, art un artículo, right? También es un, un como talento especial, right? Also. Uh, let me see what else. What else? What else do we have? Los raperos, teacher. <laughs> los rateros. Dice rapero. Que... Sí, los raperos. Rap. rap. <ríe> <ríe> ok. Y que mejor rapero. <ríe> ya iba a decir. Que no, es eso, Iván y a rato. <ríe> no, rap. Y eso, o sea, rapper. hasta, hasta rapper. cuando cantan, dices, mi talento y no sé qué más. 
Que cantan. Uh -huh. Oh, rappers es actually. Se la, estoy, se la estoy tirando a la Jenny para que cante. No. Cabal, Ay, no. Que podía cantar. Tenía un rap, vaya, así, 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 así. No, eso, el rap no, no va conmigo. A capela. Rap en inglés. Es que se le escucha como que digo ratas, no sé. Algo así. Yo oí, entonces, no, pero lo que le iba a decir yo que incluso los, los, los rateros, ¿saben cuáles son, quiénes son los rateros? Porque los que hay... le roban a uno y uno no siente. No, esos son los, eh, ¿cómo se llaman a estos? Ladrones. Ladrones. Sí, pero, ¿Cómo que le llaman? Carteristas. No son carteristas. Porque hay especialidades en esa, en esa, en esa rama. Y en inglés hay diferentes palabras. Por ejemplo, el carterista es el que le mete los dedos a uno en, la, en el bus o donde sea y uno no siente, o caminando. Entonces, ese es un pickpocket. Pickpocket. Sí, sí, porque a mí me robaron mi teléfono y no sentí. Ajá, entonces eso fue un pickpocket. Luego están eh, en, en México, por ejemplo, los a los rateros les dicen caquitos. Ya han oído eso, en chequerito salía. Entonces, esos en inglés son burglars. Porque los rateros son los que por lo general se introducen a las casas. Entonces, su especialidad es entrar a casas. Entonces, son burglars. De noche, con gente dormida y la gente no siente. Y eso es realmente un talento. Right? Eh, están los, por ejemplo, están los thieves, por ejemplo, los robbers. Robbers son los ya ladrones, así que roban bancos, carros, cosas más grandes. Okay, robbers. Entonces, así como el que sale en Ocean 11, Ocean 12, and Ocean 13. Es que es como la casa de papel. Ajá. Ve, ve, por ejemplo, ven cuánto talento hay ahí en el profesor. Okay, sí. como la, las ideas, entonces, es, lastimosamente es un talento no bien utilizado, right? Pero es, es válido el concepto, right, Roberts? Mire, Ivania, por su culpa, todas las palabras que son <ríe> por los rateros. Ok, no eran rappers. No, no fue por su culpa, fue porque yo lo oí mal. <ríe> ok. Rappers, y están los raperos. Raperos, ok, rappers. Ok, so that's the one. Good. Uh, so that, but you know, the, for example, this guy, what is the name of uh, 50 cents? Yes. 50 I like cents? it. Yeah, 50 cents is good. It's a great, tiene unas canciones muy bonitas, muy buenas. A veces es el momentito en los que se echan. Se, se mandan. Se salen del guacal. Pero hay, muchas, hay una que tiene con Bruno Mars. Eh, una canción con Bruno Mars en 50 Cents. Eh, creo que se llama Lighters. Una canción Lighters. Ahí después la buscan en YouTube. Es bastante bonita. Eh, romántico, ¿no? Right? Lighters. Pero cuando le llega la parte de 50 cents, empieza a rapear, es uh, emocionante. Ok, good. Lighters. What else? What else? What else? Only that. Bueno, podemos pasar toda la noche hablando de talents. And then we're going to move on. Ok, then. After watching the video, we have the, that is an exercise as usual, right? Instead, for example, the, here we say about, by the end of this class, you will read and discuss an article about four unique American races. You will also develop skills in reading for a specific information. Okay, race the US. Now listen to this. Hi everyone. In this class you'll read an article about 
four unique American races. You'll also develop skills in reading for specific information. Race the U.S. Climb the stairs of New York City's Empire State Building in the Empire State Building run-up. The climb is 1,050 feet, 320 meters, 86 floors, or 1,575 steps. Winners can reach the top in just 10 to 11 minutes. Can you? Take 8 or 10 days to race across America, from Irvine, California to Savannah, Georgia. Cross the entire U.S. in this 2,900-mile, 4,667-kilometer bicycle race. In this race, there are no timeouts for sleep. For 8 to 10 days, racers can sleep only about 3 hours each day. Race on the exciting white waters of the Arkansas River in the Downriver Race. Winners complete the 25.7 miles, 41.5 kilometers, in just two hours. This is the longest downriver race in the U.S. One person, one boat, take the challenge. Only possible in Alaska, the Iditarod Sled Dog Race. Race from downtown Anchorage to Nome, over 1,150 miles, 1,850 kilometers, through cold, wind, and snow. Winners usually finish the course in 9 to 12 days and receive cash prizes. Forty one point five kilometers in just two hours. This is the longest downriver nine to twelve days and receive okay, cash prizes. Pronunciation. I think here is the same where we can read it. One. Only one little kiss. Okay, here we have one, two, three, and these are the separate kisses and some questions about it. Okay, this is the one about where I can make it larger. Lo pueden ver. Activo en, en tamaño. Mm. Muy pequeño, right? La pantalla sí, sí. Okay. It doesn't let me expand it. No me deja expandirlo. No. Then. Looks better in the looks better in the video. Okay, so here we have the first one, which is climb the stairs of New York City's Empire State Building. Uh, in the Empire State uh, Building, run up the climb is one thousand fifty feet. 300 meters, 20 meters, 86 floors, or 1,575 steps. Uh, winners can reach the top in just 10 to 11 minutes. It says, can you? Um, I don't know. It's very high. Okay. Questions about this vocabulary or expressions?
Okay. Then we're going to move to the questions. Here, right? Then we have Empire State Building run up. Esta es la carrera del, del Empire State Building. Place, New York City. Distance, 320 meters. Winning times, 10 to 11 minutes. Okay, so this is the information. Race across America. So the race across America we have, what is the place? Arkansas River. Alaska or from Irvine, California to Savannah, Georgia, which is the place in the number two? From California. Or Irvine, California. Yes. Okay. And the distance? And the distance. What's the distance? And La primera, but... The first one, this. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay. It's 2,900 mile. Okay, in this 2,900 mile. Yes, the first one. What about winning times? Nine to 10 days, eight to 10 days, two hours. Nine, 10 days. Uh, no, eight. Four, eight. Eight. Eight to 10 days. Yes. Eight to 10. Okay. Now down river race. Where is the river? Arkansas River, Alaska, Oh, from Irvine, California to Savannah, Georgia. Alaska River. Alaska River or Kansas River. Kansas River. And the distance? What about the distance? 25. <laughs> 25.7 miles. And the winning times? No. Okay. Racers can sleep only about three hours each day. No. Okay. Huh? There are no timeouts for sleep for eight to 10 days. Racers can sleep only about three hours each day. So that means that you have also no winning times? Two hours. Okay. And the last three questions. Alaska. Alaska, yes. The Ice Road. De esta hay una película. Ice Road Sled Dog Race. A distance. Uh, number three. Yes, number three. And the winning times? Nine to two days. 12 to 12 days. Nine to 12 days. Okay, there we have a 10. 34 out of 24 points, 34 points. Okay, and this one is the, the final exam. For those who yes, ya lo terminaron, right? You can listen to. Page 45, exercise four, listening. It has just one room. Listen to four people. Okay, they're going to describe one one, two, 
three and four places. Describe their homes. Number the pictures from one to four. One. My family lives on the first floor of a house. Another family lives on the second floor. The people on the second floor are nice, but they're not very quiet. Two. My apartment is very small. It has just one room with a very small kitchen. It doesn't have a bedroom, so I sleep on the sofa. Three. I live in an apartment downtown. It's on the fifth floor of an interesting old building. I have a great view of the city, and I'm close to lots of stores and restaurants. Four. My family and I live in an old white house in the country. The house is a little small, but we have a big yard. We like it a lot. Okay. In which, in which part of the listening they describe the picture number one? Four picture. Number four. This is the Coliseum, right? Coliseo, look. Uh, number four. Yes. Okay. Three uh, is. Three? Okay. What about this one? Four. Yes, this is the one that say describe the White House in the country. Four. And the number, this one, number three? Two. Two. And the number four? One. Obviously, number one. One. One, one, one. Let's go. Listening and describing. Good. Then we have the next one, which is a complete the conversation, uh, conversation completed with some or any. Remember, some affirmative, any negative or question. Okay, the first one is we'll have, well, we have a lots of tomatoes. Let's make any or some? Some. Um, That's affirmative. Okay, do we have any or some? Any? Any because it is a question. Okay, what about the number, the next one? Adam, Adam, no, we need to buy. Some. Um, okay, yes. The next one is we need. Some. Some. Some, some letters, affirmative. No, oh, I don't want. Any. That's a negative one. I don't want any letters. Then let's get. Some. Let's get some olives. No, I don't want. Any. Any. And then the other one says, let's put any or some cucumber in it. Some. Um, some cucumber in it. Make a fresh salad. Cucumber, uh, lettuce, a tomato, and then you have a fresh salad. Okay. Always remember the rule, right? Some affirmative, any, and 
questions y a veces el some en preguntas cuando se ofrece algo. Do you want some coffee? Ok, cuando está ofreciendo, do you, do you want some help? Quiere algo de ayuda. Do you want some coffee? Quiere algo de café. Do you want some food? Some cake. Ese es el único caso en que vamos a usar some en preguntas. Ok, cuando se ofrece algo. Then the rest, any. Any in negative sentences and some in affirmative sentences. Ok. Then the adverse of frequency, remember, usually, eh, never, sometimes, eh, hardly ever, okay, uh, always, okay, these are the words. Eh, here, ah, in the position, right? The position is subject, primero al sujeto, and then the frequency adverb. Okay, never, usually, uh, sometimes, eh, hardly ever. Okay, el frequency adverb va a estar entre el sujeto y el verbo. El sometimes, a veces, puede ir al inicio. Es el único que a veces cambia. Okay, never I play soccer on weekends. This sentence is correct or incorrect. Incorrect. Yes. Because you say, I never play. They usually study English at night. Is it correct? Correct. Yes. And sometimes she feels very tired. Correct or correct. It is correct. Uh, he often call her in the morning. He often call her in the morning. Correct or incorrect? Correct. Yes, correct. And the last one? Incorrect. Incorrect. Do you listen to me hardly ever? Then you can. Call is incorrect. He often call her in the morning. He call her in the morning often. Oops, sorry. Um, I often go. Pero esta no debería estar incorrecta. Mm. Será porque no lleva la S. Uh, open. Oh, oh, yes, you're right. Oh my God. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Cierto. You're welcome. Okay, very good. Calls her. Uh -huh. Falta la S acá. Es correct. Sí, porque la posición está correcta. Okay, very good. So then that's the mistake. Details. Good. Okay. Next one. Uh, correct the meaning of WH question words. Okay. Here goes correct the meaning means who is for time, place, people, choice, or thing. El who es para usar el tiempo, place, people, choice, or thing. People. people. Where? Mm. Where? Mm -hmm. Place. Place. When? Time. Time, yes. Which? Choice. 
Okay. Which one do you like? ¿Cuál quiere? ¿Cuál le gusta? Okay. Which one do you like? And the last one, what? Thing or object. Thing or object. Okay. Thing or object. El who es para personas, el what es para objects or cosas. Okay. Then you have just the correct, use the correct use of can or can't. Just the correct form, tell us. Okay, use the correct for, uh, use of can or can't. Just the correct use. Qué raro suena. Forma correcta. Use the correct form. Okay. Read the following sentence. Choose either can or can't. Just the word, not capital letter or clear. Okay. You say, I am very angry. Can. You say, I'm very hungry. I can. Right now. Okay. What else? A cheetah. Cheetah. Can or can? Can. Can run. ¿Qué significa eso, teacher? El que. What is the meaning? Uh, yes. Cheetah es un animal que parece gato o tigre. Recuerda de, um, de, de los Thundercats. No, ya son los vio, ¿verdad? Chitara. Chitara. Era una chitara. Aparece. Así se llamaba en él. El... Pero no es la mona de Tarzana, chitara. No, esa era la chitara. <risa> no. Pero esa era en español que decía chitara. Se escribe así. Los Thundercats. Ajá, Chitara era la de los mm. Thundercats, que era la que parecía que era un jaguar. Como un jaguar, sí, se acaba, pero corría bien rápido. Todas las Chitaras son como jaguares, pero son más flacos y piernas más largas. Las patas son más largas. O sea, se ven mm. súper mm. Chitara. Any idea. Ok. Then, Maria, question. Can, can, can you help me? Can you help me? Okay. Number four, I do. I can do my homework. I, negative, right? I can't. I can't. Do my homework. I can't do my, it's too difficult. Yes. I can. Can a baby? Can't, yes. Can't. Can't drive a car. That's the negative. Abilities, okay? For special talents. Now this one's something from the beginning. It says fill in the blanks. And here you have to complete the questions or sentences using the auxiliary verb. Okay, we do, don't, doesn't. Okay, for example, this one is Linda. Do you live, does you live, do you live, or does you live? One, two, three, or four. Do you live? Do you live, right? The number. Okay, si ven una diferencia, me avisan, right? Number, well, the next one, Chris. Do you live, do you live in an apartment? No. 
I don't. I, I live. Don't live. I don't live. Uh -huh. I don't live. Number two. Mm. Okay. Then the next one. Baby. Do do it have? Does it have? Do it have? Or does it have? Is does it mm -hmm. halves or halves? Does have okay, yes, the number four. Yes, it does, yes, it don't, yes, it doesn't, yes, it do. Don't. Yes. Yes, it does. Yes, correct. And that sounds nice. Do you live alone? Does you live alone? Do you live alone? Does you live alone? One, two, three, four. Two lip. You live one. One. Okay. The next one. I don't live. No, I. I don't. I don't. I live yes. with my don't. family. I live with my family. Good. Almost finished. And Linda? That sounds nice. Do you have, do you, does you have, do you have, and does you have? Do you have? Do you have? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Which one? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I have this four sister. I have four sisters. Good. Next one. Really? Does your house have? Do your house have? Does your? Uh -huh. Does you have? Do you have? That's your house. No, this one is okay. That's your house. Have. That's. Uh, because it's house. It's an object. Only one. Yes. Okay. Chris. Yes. It does. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. It does have. It has. Uh huh. It has four. Does your house have many rooms? Yes, it does. It has four, four rooms. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about Linda? Does you have? You have. No. Mm, no. Does Just... you, get away? Have to have. Do you have? Do have, yes. Do have. you have? Exactly. Do you have? Do you have? And the last? 
Do. No. Do. Do you have? Yes. Do. Yes. Do. I do. I do. Yes, I do. I do. Yes, I do. There you go. Okay. That's it, people. Uh, pueden completarlo, right? With the. Um, these are my progress. Casi paso. Me quedé pasado 67. No hice este ejercicio en el midterm, no lo hice. Ok, okay good. So, así, ustedes tienen que tenerlo todo aquí arriba. Todo rojito, todo gris. Ok, este es para que vean el progress de cómo van. Ok, todo 67, me saqué a Entonces, si, hacen, si les quedan pendientes, por ejemplo, acá tengo pendiente yo el homework 3, que haber sido la sección 3. No terminé solo esa. Y el midterm, que es este exacto. Entonces, mi nota total es esa. Ok. No questions, people? No questions. Ok, perfect. Then, uh, tomorrow we're going to have a review. Vamos a hacer una revisión, right? De los primeros temas y más que todo vocabulario. Practice vocabulary and all our practice like today. Okay, so have a very good night and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. Good night. Good night, teacher. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye.